Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy from Hartsville, South Carolina. Now take a look at this guy. This is a dung beetle. And dung beetles are surprisingly interesting. First of all, they eat dung, which is pretty gross, but interesting. The dung provides them all the nourishment they need, and all the water. Dung beetles are divided into three different groups, according to the way they use dung. Some dung beetles, known as dwellers, simply burrow into the dung. Another group, known as tunnelers, tunnel underneath the dung and take pieces of the dung into the ground with them. But the individual we're looking at here is from the third type. This is a roller dung beetle. They roll the dung away from the place where they find it and bury it for safekeeping. That way it can be used as a food supply when they need it. They will also lay eggs in some of the dung they bury. So it can be used as food for their offspring. But what's really interesting to me is that dung beetles are very beneficial to people and to livestock. All their digging is great for the soil. It also introduces air to the dung which reacts with the dung to reduce the amount of methane the dung produces, which reduces the amount of methane released to the atmosphere. And that's good for the environment, since methane is a greenhouse gas that promotes global warming. Also, by removing the dung, dung beetles reduce the number of flies that feed on the dung. And this can reduce the diseases that are spread by the flies. Dung beetles were revered by the ancient Egyptians because the beetles reminded them of their god Kepri, who rolled the sun across the sky. One more thing about dung beetles. They're mostly active at night. So that's when you're going to have your best chance to see them. Thanks for watching.